Are we alone in this universe? We've been searching for signs of alien life for a long time and now a planet from trillions of kilometers away from Earth has yielded the strongest evidence yet that extraterrestrial life may be thriving beyond our solar system. Let me get you more details on this. Scientists are claiming to have identified two gases, namely dimethyl sulfide and dimethyl desulfide at the exoplanet K218b. These gases are only generated on Earth by living organisms, primarily microbial life such as marine and algae life forms. And researchers say that this suggests that planet may be teeming with microbial life. This does not confirm the discovery of actual living organisms, but rather a possible biosignature, an indicator of sorts of a biological process. The latest discovery is a result of years of exploration. The K218b, it was discovered in 2015 by the Kelper Space Telescope. In 2019, the Hubble Space Telescope helped discover the spectroscopic signature of water vapor. This is the first discovery of water vapor on an exoplanet that is not a hot Jupiter. In 2023, a new investigation with NASA's James Webb Space Telescope revealed the presence of carbon-bearing molecules, including methane and carbon dioxide. Now, in 2025, a new paper claims that concentration of dimethyl sulfide and dimethyl disulfide were found on this planet. The levels are thousands of times stronger than the levels on Earth. There is a 0.3% probability that finding this finding may be wrong. But, of course, it surely it's led to some sort of excitement. Since its discovery, the K218b has been a focus of curiosity. It is an exoplanet, as I mentioned earlier, one that is bigger than Earth, also known as Super-Earth. It orbits the red dwarf star K218. It completes one round around the red dwarf in 33 Earth days. The system is located 124 light years from Earth. The planet has a diameter that of about 2.6 times of Earth and is 8.6 times bigger in size. Now, astrophysicist Nikum Madhusudhan, who wrote the recent study, says that the conditions do point to it being a Hyacian planet, a world covered by a world that is covered by liquid water ocean, habitable by microorganisms, as I mentioned earlier, and with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Currently, the only scenario that explains all the observations, in other words, detections of methane and carbon dioxide, non-detection of ammonia and carbon monoxide, and now possible detection of these molecules means that based on our current understanding, the only scenario that explains all of this is one where it's a Haitian world that is teeming with life. And what is a Haitian world? It's an ocean covered surface with a thin hydrogen rich atmosphere. So, and the ocean being habitable. So that is the only scenario which can currently explain all the observations together. However, we want to remain open to other uh, alternatives uh, one might come up with in the future.